Hi folks, well uh, I got the green sand sorted and uh, did a pour today, first attempt, I'm quite pleased with the results. I'll um, going to do another one for the mining channel, for gold prospecting channel. I'm going to do a Jolly Roger, just because Spanish guys work call me a pirate because they still got it, they still feel bad about the English privateers taking the gold off them which they stole from the Incas. I do try and explain that to them, that it wasn't their gold in the first place. We just let them collect it and get it together and then we did the clever work and took it away from them. But I'm going to do a Jolly Roger and I'm also going to do a Jolly Prospector. <laughs> He's work, but I'll get on to that. But other than that, I'll uh, let you have a look at this and get on with it. It's nice to be nice. Well, I've uh, tried to get a little bit forward on this. Sat here again. They wanted me to work today. <laughs> um, I'm going to give these a try. I think I've got this sand right now. I added a bit more betonite clay and uh, a bit more water. And I'll just mix that with a um, paint mixer. Mix it in. Uh, there's a couple of things I want to try and do. I'm going to try and get it cast today, but as I say, it's raining. But I'm going to Give this a go. I've made a smaller box so I don't use all my sand. And I was thinking about how I could reproduce these. And last year I made that. Well, I carved, I carved a skull out of blue foam, styrofoam. Covered it in household silicon. And that's the mould what that came out of. The other things with this is you can work it easy and correct things with whatever tools. So I could probably reproduce these in the same thing, so say if I wanted to make, well, I'm only going to get two in here, but if I wanted to make two, two exactly the same, I could do two, three, four, if I use that other box and mix some more stuff. But I'm going to bash this in, I'll put you on other camera, and uh, we'll see how these turn out. I did get some, uh, something for my bottom, so my bottom and top separate. So, you can probably see a bit better. I had some pull out. I think that they really need a coat or something to help them release as well, rather than just the talcum powder. But that stuff could be sanded off, cut, you know, the uh, ground back when on the pour. Um, if it stops raining or calms down a bit, I'm going to try. Pour them. Sorry about it, it's gone a bit dark there. I'm going to try and pour them just to see what I get. I can always uh, remelt them. And uh, got to work out how to put backs on them. You know, for, um, yeah, for belt clip and the 
spike but I'm going to try and do these as they are and then see what we get and uh, I'll post it <laughs> Now I'm not going to be fil filming it burn, not melt, I'll show you the end result, but it's still raining. <laughs> I've got a percentage of coffee I'm putting in it, hopefully it'll melt that. But my me, uh, me forge I'm going to upgrade if everything goes well anyway, so see how we go. So that's that poured, see how it works. Um, I didn't think the copper were melting but it seems to have most of it have melted into it. So. I'm going to have to work on getting it hotter though, I've run out of coal, I only filled it twice but I didn't realise I didn't have enough coal. Right, I'm going to break these moulds out and see what we've got. Incidentally, talking a quail, that dark one's definitely a male, it's been crowing. <laughs> so if it is, I've, I'm, it looks like I might have got eight females and one male, you're going to be a very busy boy. So this has been left about 20 minutes, put the GoPro on break it out, see what we've got. Um, it's still quite hot. There's a piece of steel underneath. So all in all, I think that were quite successful for the first try. Um, I will say, I can't see any copper colour in it, <laughs> unless, unless copper just blocked out and it's in there somewhere, but it did melt down, although I did put up quite a bit more aluminium in just to make sure I had enough for pour. I'll cut them off and, I'll cut them off and clean them up a bit and see what we get. <laughs> Oh guys, I give them a quick spray over with some black and polish them back. Now that there <laughs> is the screw that I put it back. But these are just a first try, so really, I didn't get any paint on that side either. But really, I'm quite pleased how they turned out. I might just put them on the quail cages, just screw them onto it. Oh. And then I'll do some more carving. Incidentally, I've ordered some new glasses. <clears throat> now, these glasses are reading glasses, but you can adjust them. You can adjust the actual lens from null to plus three. So when doing work like this, it'll be a lot easier. I will show them you when I get them. <laughs> 